Hi, in this recording I'll show you how to register and log in to the DreamSpark system. DreamSpark is a project by Microsoft which allows students in participating universities to download software without cost, software which is properly licensed. GVSU participates in this project and so we send uh, the list of email addresses of students who take our CIS courses and their accounts are created in DreamSpark. So to get started you have to click on a specific link which is produced for our school. Now you can uh, receive this link in an email or otherwise uh, I will share this link with you. Um, here I'm looking at a tweet from the 4th of November 9, uh, 2013 and uh, I have this particular link uh, within the tweet. So I'll go ahead and click on it. And this is the link to the Grand Valley State University uh, School of uh, Computing and Information Systems uh, store. So how do we get started? Well we get started by clicking on register. And now we have to provide our GVSU email address. So I will go ahead and do that. And when I submit this information uh, the system tells me that my account was found and I also have already registered. So when you put in your email address, uh, hopefully it will say that the account was already found. If it does not say that, then just please wait a few days and uh, we will upload uh, the uh, new accounts and then you will be able to register. Now when it is time to sign in, you can use uh, the link at the top of the page here sign in and let's say that you do not remember your password you can start by using the forgot username or, or password link and so then you just look up your GVSU email and the password uh, will be there but let's go ahead and sign in again you have to use our specific uh, URL for the login page so it says Grand Valley State University on the login page. I'll go ahead and uh, select my user ID and uh, we'll try to access the system and I am now logged in. I can see my user ID at the very top here and uh, I can preview my uh, previous uh, purchases. So let's go ahead and download Microsoft Access and for our class uh, we need Microsoft Access 2010. So let's see if we can find it here. I search for Access and there it is, Microsoft Access 2010. I also could, could download Access 2013, uh, but for uh, the needs of our class, uh, please install 2010 for the duration of the class and then you can upgrade uh, later on. So I'll go ahead and add this to the cart. Now, Access does not have to be the only uh, purchase you make. And by the way, um, this is free if you are downloading the software. And if you choose to buy the actual disk, then uh, you would um, pay for the media. We're ready to go ahead and check out. So we'll use the checkout button. Now, uh, let's see, we have uh, an agreement here. We'll say accept. And uh, I like the price so far, zero. Uh, and the information about this product is going to be sent to my email address. Proceed with order. Excellent. So our order is completed and the product key is being retrieved. Okay, so this product key is very important. As we now install Access, we will have to type in all these letters and numbers uh, so, uh, download of the actual media, uh, I will record this as, a, as, a, as another uh, video, uh, I'll record the whole installation process as a separate uh, video, uh, but this is going to be a key, this is going to be our license and this is what part of this uh, purchase is. So now, if you are on a Microsoft computer, so you cannot do that on the Mac, but on the Microsoft computer, you will uh, press start download and then continue. I'll demonstrate this in the next video. Thank you.